Oklahoma football. He'll come again. Flair. Here's Woods. Spins. Throwing for a living. And read beautifully. Show blitz. Trying to get there. Influence that pass. Up tempo Oklahoma offense. Defensive end might have jumped. We'll see how they sort that out as he goes to Grisham. Now Murray with a big hole. He's got great speed to midfield. Sooners moving the first time they handle the ball. Great job by Brandon Walker, the right guard. And I just talked about the, the ability of this offensive line. You talk about a hole. Brandon Walker, the right guard. Second and eight, an option look with Murray still handling for another first down, breaking daylight across the 25-yard line. Out of bounds around the 22-yard line, and it is the sooner running game of Bob Stoops that has the Red Raiders in retreat. 25 yards. A great block there by Grisham to seal the inside from Marlon Williams. Kevin Wilson calling the plays. Bradford is back, has all day. Throws in underneath to Gresham. Gresham battles to the two-yard line. A first and goal on their opening drive after stopping the Tech attack. O'Brien well, Duncan is going to go and drop on Broyles. Once he drops back, it opens it up. Third down and goal. The goal line defense of McNeil. Hurries into position. They're going to go wide with Murray for the first touchdown of the game. Step him outside to the right and DeMarco Murray. This is Woods. He thought he saw something. Harris has crept up, number five, and now he drops back. And they come from the other side with a blitz, trying to confuse him. Beal was there. Harrow gets it off complete, but well short. 7-0 Oklahoma leading here. They did get the first down. Throwing to Batch on the outside. They have to eliminate him. Good job there by Dominique. First sack. He threw it. There was a receiver. And a big third down here if he can try to make a huge play on third and long. Second sack. Consecutive sacks. Gerald McCoy was one of those hand fighting his way in. And this offensive line has a load of trouble against this Sooner front right now. What a great, a great twist, a big stunt here from Oklahoma. The speed and athletic ability of McCoy right in the middle goes to the outside around Taylor. Then he gets a one-on-one -on -one matchup and just uses his speed and quickness to go right by Ryland Reed, the left tackles. Coming down toward the final minute of the opening quarter and Brown will bring that clock down. Second down and five. Bradford has all day throwing to Grisham who's wide open and in a foot race. Out of bounds at the 29 yard line. The Sooners threatening again. When you run the football you start to get safeties and linebackers sucked in. And that's what happened here. You see the confusion wide open on the backside. Duncan, the linebacker, trying to stay. He's 4-6 for 73 yards right now. Coming back with Brown. Rush four. Not putting heat. Here's Gresham, another first down. Kirk, they've got to find a way to put some pressure on Bradford. <laughs> Brown, 11 yards before they're able to bring him down. And gave Brown plenty of room. Brown cut off. Slashes back. Touchdown, OU. problem that Texas Tech is facing right now is this balance. If they load up to stop the run, then Oklahoma will throw it. If they stay back to prevent the big pass play, then... Down at three. Got it away. 
That's the Crabtree play that you all remember so well from the Texas game. And Frank said, uh-uh, not on my watch, not this time. And they're jumping the routes. He actually is going to make a cut to the outside. Watch how quick Frank jumps this route. And when you start to see that as a play caller and as a quarterback, you've got to come up with some double moves. You cannot just continue to allow them. They show blitz. Harold deflected. Harold needs three yards for the first. Steps away. Incomplete. The Oklahoma defense is the story. That's your headline here tonight. So far, it has been Boomer Sooner. One at the hands of Oklahoma State. And 23 games ago, TCU. Here is Murray slashing his way to the 30, 40. And Murray having a huge night for the offense. That's 23 more yards for Murray as he approaches 100 in the first half. It starts with, again, the running game. Great blocks downfield by Iglesias and Manny Johnson. Bunch on the left. Bradford hasn't touched the ground yet. And here's Murray off the pass. 40-35. And Murray to the 30-yard line for another first and 10 before L.A. Reed can bring him down. But it is a 31-yard gain for the Sooners. But the accuracy of Sam Bradford. Watch the feet. Gets himself in position. Comes over. Great throw in front of Murray. And with DeMarco Murray in the open field, you talk about the importance of making a tackle. Again, this guy looks... As good as he has looked all year, be able to play as a group. Right now, they look like they're rattled as a team. Play action going in zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Jermaine Gresham. It is second down and five. There is Batch, and he is blown up. Short. One at Crabtree. Incomplete. Anything to rally the troops. But the way things are going, they're going to be down four touchdowns. And Coach Patterson goes up to Kansas State. But Kevin Wilson doing a superb job of calling plays here tonight. I cannot believe Bradford finally couldn't find an open man. Sprints out of trouble. What a night Bradford is having with Northwestern. He was the offensive coach up there. Again, Bradford. Needs seven on this third down. Picks it up easy. Touchdown. And Oklahoma leading Texas Tech. And the Red Raider defense finally makes penetration and can't stop Murray. The fastest no huddle in the country this year. Absolutely. Murray again. That whatever he wants to throw the ball. The offensive line has done a great job and he drops off the screen to Murray. Murray drops back now. Going to lose some yards unless he can break free. And he does. Turns it into a gain and a first down. What a half for DeMarco Murray. I said it earlier, and I just continue to marvel at, uh, at DeMarco Murray. This is the back that I think a lot of people expected to see this year. Now that he is healthy, when he gets the football, it's not just a quickness, Brent. He plays this as number nine. At the bottom of the screen. Going back with Brown on the clock, staying in bounds. And uh, that would be Lloyd Holt, Robinson, Cooper, Walker, and Williams. Brown for another first down. Here comes again, Murray. With Brown smashing into the end zone. They have made it look easy.
intercepted at midfield. Picked off by Lewis. Lewis with great speed. Headed in zone. Just short. Now Murray. Touchdown Oklahoma. It's a stomping in Norman, folks. An old-fashioned stomping. Madison <laughs> because they've been so effective in running the football for 226 yards in the first half he hasn't needed to be this is Murray at 100 yards there's a third and 22 Oklahoma five of six on third downs and not favored here but they're gonna let Murray see if he can run for it he's run for everything else Flair first down. Stoops is kind of interested in what his kicker might do. That looked pretty good, didn't it? <laughs> that had a little distance to it, huh? <laughs> because of the coverage, they've been able to get pressure on Graham Harrell. It spins and challenging them. They look a little angry tonight in the way they're playing and getting off blocks. See what they can do with this third and two. Remember what Mike told Lisa at the end of the half. We didn't do the little things. That's a little thing. That's a first. No, they fumble it away, and it's Oklahoma football. The nightmare continues. Keenan Clayton scoops the fumble up and brings it back to the two-yard line. And they got to do the little things and these are the, this is a little thing and that's a big thing putting it on the ground and how about the speed of the Sooners defense when Clayton gets the ball he's a tailback he's pointing the box gets a huge one there by the freshman Austin box and almost takes it and Frank Alexander yep. leading the way too and Brown battling battling stop still going falls into the end zone touchdown Oklahoma Always talk to my eight-year-old twin boys about never stop moving your feet. How about the effort here by Chris Brown? Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth effort. Never giving up. Kind of a defining play to the way this entire game has gone for Oklahoma and for Texas Tech. All right, Batch and Shannon Woods are in there now. Oh, that could have been picked up on a sleep. <laughs> Leach watching out with Stern. Third down and 13. Slips away, but in deep trouble. Yeah. You know, he's got a strong arm. We would have at Oklahoma City, or I should say up at Stillwater, yep. against Oklahoma State. And if they all win, it's a three-way tie. You worry for them, and it needs to continue to be brought up that they did beat Oklahoma head-to-head, -head, and that's going to be the, the their one thing. Oh! <laughs> Caught beautifully by Johnson. Oh, my. Catches it with the, the left with hand. The, yes. Yeah. With the injured elbow, they go 66 yards for a touchdown. We can't even talk about the BCS without them scoring a touchdown. <laughs> Unbelievable here today. Bob Stoops probably wants to, to show his appreciation for Manny Johnson because of what he's been able to do. It's the first time since the injury he's been able to come back, and there's Bob giving him a big hug. Let me ask you, who do you put ahead? I don't, I don't Florida or Oklahoma? I don't have a vote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for the Red Raiders. Miss here, and it'll be a very short field for the Sooners. Going to bring the end around. He won't get there. Sooners football. Mike Leach just trying to go into his bag of tricks. 
end around here to the speedster Edward Britton, and even this the Sooners have sniffed out. This defense again, well prepared. Names on there. The one name you have to know for me is Beyonce. <laughs> Because your wife won't let you in. No, I'm just uh, all right, wait. All right. All right. She's gonna be a winner. Oh, she's a winner. Second down at ten. They're gonna come back with a uh, a screen themselves. Broyles in zone. Wow. What a performance by the Sooners. Now you got one team still out there playing 100 miles an hour in the red. And then you have the Texas Tech defense right now. It's just beaten down mentally and physically. Great effort here by Boyles. Exactly. Crab three. Puts back out to the right. One here for the Sooners has been very important. Beal is through on Harrell, incomplete. Oklahoma State getting ready. From the end zone, going deep middle, incomplete. Damn, what a blow by Nick Harris. Nick Harris, folks. Got a chance to play safety at that next level if his speed is as good as it has to be. He's a big-time hitter. Both safeties emerge here. Lindy Holmes and Nick Harris to the left is Holmes, and there's Harris. Enter at your own risk when you come to the middle of this Sooner defense. Ball up in the air, hanging. Britton just focused on catching the football, knowing that Holmes and Harris might eventually get there, but they... And there's another one loss team that's having a hard time climbing up the charts, and that, of course, is USC. As Harold launches one for the ends, Crabtree goes high in the air and it's incomplete. Great, as you said, an athletic move there. He's running full speed to hold that football in. Fumble. That fumble was forced by Jeremy Beal, number 44. Jeremy Beal was coming in. Got a hand on a football, forced the fumble. Oklahoma ball up 65 to 14, and Harold shaking up. Remember, remember this Texas Tech offensive line only allowing five sacks the whole year? Tonight, three against Oklahoma. Well, Bob Stoop said he can tell what Mike Leach is going to call, and he proved it here tonight. And uh, now his former assistant shake hands. Still good friends.